you know, there's so many SMSs, calls coming through, offering uh, personal loans, which all of all of which look very attractive. So, idea is that do shop around. Don't always follow the line of least resistance and go to your own, you know, personal banker or the or the you know or the organization that you bank with and say, hey, can I have a personal loan? Take advantage of the people reaching out to you, and you also reach out to other people. So you occupy basically as much of the real estate around the knowledge of what is offered on the marketplace by different by lenders other than the one that you bank with. Calculate the rate of interest that's on offer. Because many times people offer a flat rate of interest which 6.5 percent, you know, over a three year uh, time frame looks rather attractive. But please always calculate your rate of interest as, it, as you're likely to shoulder it on the reducing balance because every time you pay back a, an equated monthly installment, you're paying back part of the a principle as well. So an interest calculation in detail for you to be able to understand how it's going to hit you and also compare apples with apples. All interest should be calculated in the same method when you're comparing the alternatives. Around foreclosure charges because uh, life is you know a funny thing, it goes up, it goes down but quite honestly uh, you are going to get a few windfalls every now and then. So if you took a three-year loan Chances are after a year and a half, you may want to repay all of it or, or at least a portion of it to, you know, get rid of the interest, uh, you know, which is hitting you. You suddenly have some excess cash. Now, the RBI has put in uh, some, uh, you know, some restrictions on lenders charging foreclosure charges on home loans, but the same is not applicable to personal loans. So as such, always try to see where you are likely to attract the lowest possible foreclosure charges and also whether part for part repayment is possible sometimes people say yes i allow you to foreclose and you know if you pay all the money back you know that may not always be the case you may want to pay back only part of it so can you pay back all of it can you pay back part of it and what is the cost of such foreclosure this is a very important thing to check out and compare between various options when you've fully repaid your loan how would it impact your credit score Always be very clear that you should always paying up all of your EMIs on time and that the relationship with your lender is a good one so that it reflects on a, as an, on a good credit score going forward. It will help you immensely. These are the four basic things I would say to look at when you're looking at a you know, personal loan. Last thing if I might add, try and get away uh, from advanced EMIs. Those are, that's not a good thing to do. You know, when people say it's an advanced EMI, it's actually raising the cost of borrowing. Get away from that. And, uh, you know, all, unless, uh, you know, you, you calculated and you figured out that it's actually a cheap way of accessing that particular loan. As a rule of thumb, advanced EMI is not a good idea.